While Tesla Cybertruck stole headlines with its steel shell and raw power, something even more shocking was quietly being built. Not in Silicon Valley, but in the heart of Africa. A vehicle so advanced, so unexplainable, even Elon Musk couldn't believe it. This isn't science fiction. This is the story of a wireless Cybertruck developed by an African genius who defied physics, expectations, and global tech giants. The African garage where history was made. In a quiet township in southern Africa, surrounded by dust, tin roofs, and echoes of diesel engines, a self-taught engineer named Maxwell Chikambutso was working on something the world had never seen. No corporate backing. No massive factory. Just a dream. And a garage filled with wires, circuits, and silence. But this wasn't just another EV project. Maxwell wasn't interested in building a Tesla clone. He wanted to create something beyond electricity. Something wireless. While Tesla focused on lithium and superchargers, Maxwell focused on microsonic energy transmission, a technology no major car company dared to touch. What came out of his workshop would stun engineers across the globe, the unveiling that left engineers speechless. At first glance, it looked like a rugged electric truck, angular body, sleek design, but it had no visible charging port, no solar panels, and no battery swaps. That's when the team at the demo site began to whisper, Where's the battery? How is it moving? Why is the power meter flatlining? The truck, now called Ngovamoto, meaning power vehicle in Shona, ran entirely on ambient energy pulled from the environment. No grid, no wires, no fuel. It could drive for days without a recharge, powered by something scientists still struggle to fully explain. And the kicker? Maxwell live-streamed the whole thing. In real time. No cuts. No edits. Elon reacts. Words spread like wildfire. Tech forums exploded. YouTubers were baffled. Experts tried to debunk it. Until one tweet from Elon Musk lit the internet on fire. If this is real, it changes everything. Tesla engineers were reportedly watching the full test footage on loop. Not because they didn't believe it but because they couldn't believe it. What Maxwell had built wasn't just a truck. It was a revolution on wheels. The wireless secret. Investigators, engineers, and scientists from around the world requested access to Nguvamoto truck. Some believed it was trickery. Others suspected hidden batteries. But when the panels were open, what they found stunned them even more. Inside the vehicle was proprietary microsonic energy converter MEC, a device Maxwell had quietly developed over the years. This mech didn't store power. It generated it in real time by capturing specific frequencies from the atmosphere and converting them into usable electric current. It wasn't solar. It wasn't wind. It wasn't nuclear. It was ambient resonance. And Maxwell had built a system that could run indefinitely without external fuel. The world has been looking for power in all the wrong places, Maxwell said during a rare press interview, We just had to listen to nature differently. Engineers from Japan, Germany, and the U.S. quietly requested private demonstrations. Some offered tens of millions just for licensing rights. But Maxwell wasn't selling. At least not to just anyone. Global demand skyrockets. Social media lit up like wildfire. Hashtags like hashtag wireless truck. Hashtag Maxwell vs. Musk and hashtag Africa Leads Tech started trending globally. Orders poured in. Within the first 48 hours after the live stream, over 37,000 pre-orders were submitted, many from countries with unstable power grids, remote rural areas, and military organizations eager for energy-independent transport. Governments reached out. News outlets scrambled. CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera, even Bloomberg wanted to sit down. But Maxwell remained grounded. He was not interested in hype. He was interested in building a future where Africa wasn't just a consumer technology, but its creator. And then, just as the world thought they had seen it all, Elon responds. The global buzz was too loud to ignore. Just days after the viral reveal of Maxwell's wireless Cybertruck alternative, Elon Musk himself took to X, formerly Twitter, and posted, Competition drives innovation. Fascinated by what's coming out of Africa, would love to see a side-by-side. -side. That single tweet triggered an explosion. The media dubbed it the tech titan standoff. 
Maxwell didn't reply, but his team posted a cryptic message. Africa has already arrived. We're not here to compete. We're here to lead. What happened next took the tech world by surprise. The challenge. In an unprecedented move, a respected neutral platform, the Future Mobility Summit, invited both innovators to demonstrate their vehicles in a head-to-head -head comparison, not just in speed, but in range, power delivery, energy independence, and durability across different terrains. Tesla declined the challenge quietly. Maxwell accepted. Publicly, in his response video, he said, We don't build for hype. We build for the people who need solutions the most. If you want to test us, bring deserts, jungles, mountains. We'll be there, fully charged by nature itself. Africa takes center stage. From South Africa to Kenya, from Nigeria to Ghana, African innovators and entrepreneurs rallied. Startups began developing accessories, add-ons, and local infrastructure to support the wireless EV revolution. And for the first time in decades, African students studying engineering and physics weren't dreaming of going abroad. They were dreaming of interning at Maxwell's and Guvamoto Labs. International investors turned their eyes south. But Maxwell? He remained in his small Harare workshop, refining, testing, and preparing for the next wave. Because while the world had just started watching, Maxwell knew this wasn't just a vehicle. It was the ignition key for Africa's technological independence. The unveiling of Africar X. Weeks after the public challenge was issued, whispers began circulating online. Maxwell's team had been working on something far more advanced than previously shown. And then it happened. In a dusty clearing just outside Harare, journalists, engineers, and global tech leaders gathered for an event they hadn't anticipated. The unveiling of a next-generation self-powered vehicle, dubbed the Africar X. This wasn't just a car. It required no charging stations. It could operate in remote areas with no roads, using adaptive terrain suspension. Its self-powering unit was now integrated into the very structure of the vehicle. It featured multi-spectral sensors that allowed it to detect obstacles, wildlife, and even unsafe road conditions in total darkness. Maxwell stepped up in front of the crowd. No slides, no rehearsed speech. Just passion. Africar X is not built for Silicon Valley. It's built for the dry plains of Mali, the forests of Congo, the flood-prone deltas of Nigeria, and it powers itself because our continent deserves energy freedom, not energy dependence. The silence that followed was not from doubt. It was from awe. Global reactions and government responses. News channels worldwide cut into their broadcasts. BBC. Is Africa leading the next industrial revolution? CNBC. Could the spell disruption for Tesla, Rivian, and the EV market at large? Al Jazeera, an African vehicle with zero charging infrastructure required? If real, this changes everything. CNN, self-powered, rugged, intelligent. The Africa RX is unlike anything we've seen. Meanwhile, several African governments, previously skeptical, rushed to invite Maxwell for collaborations. Infrastructure plans were updated. Highways, smart grids, and rural transport policies were reimagined, not around charging stations, but around wireless mobility. And then something even more shocking happened. The Surprise Alliance. As governments scrambled to contact Maxwell, a surprising message came through his foundation's private channel. It was from Japan. Specifically, a delegation from a leading electronics giant, known for their innovation in robotics and energy storage, wanted to meet in person but not in Tokyo. They insisted on traveling to Zimbabwe. When the team arrived, they brought no bodyguards, no fanfare, just blueprints. What they unveiled astonished even Maxwell, a concept for wireless infrastructure nodes that could work with his technology to form a continent-wide mesh network, connecting not only cars, but homes, villages, and even farms with autonomous energy sharing. Your car generates energy. Our nodes distribute it. We don't just power Africa, we let Africa power itself, said the lead engineer. This was it. Maxwell wasn't just building vehicles anymore. He was now being offered the blueprint to help redefine how the entire energy economy could function in the global south. Started without fossil fuels, without batteries, and without debt. Elon responds. Days later, a cryptic tweet appeared from Elon Musk. Impressive. 
decentralized energy generation could be the future. Curious to learn more about Africa RX? Within hours, tech blogs exploded. Elon Musk praises African innovation. Tesla and Seth Tech, rivals or future collaborators? Africa is no longer the testing ground. It's the launch pad. Back in Harare, Maxwell responded in classic style. No tweet, no press release, just a short video. Standing beside the Africa RX, he smiled and said, We're not racing anyone. We're just driving forward. The world watches Africa. In early 2026, the world gathered in Lagos, Nigeria, not New York, not Tokyo, for what was billed as the Future Begins Now Summit. On a massive stage built entirely from renewable materials, Maxwell Chikambutso stepped into the spotlight. Behind him stood the Africa X, the microsonic energy device, and the newest reveal, a modular energy cube small enough to power homes, schools, and even satellites. You waited, he said. Now it's time to build. Then came the moment that changed everything. He opened the technology. Maxwell didn't sell his patents to the highest bidder. He didn't limit access. Instead, he announced a global open source initiative, granting access to designed for countries willing to invest in local talent, clean manufacturing, and ethical deployment. From Brazil to Bangladesh, engineers and students began replicating his breakthroughs. Small island nations, once choked by diesel imports, began installing self-powered transport systems. Remote African villages lit up not with aid, but with indigenous innovation. Elon's final word. Elon Musk, attending via live stream, simply said, Today we all follow Africa's lead. Maxwell Chikambutso never sought global fame, but in the end his backyard workshop gave birth to a global revolution. And as the lights flickered on, from the Sahara to the South Pacific, the world finally realized the future wasn't waiting in Silicon Valley. It was already humming silently in Africa, self-powered, limitless, and unstoppable.